this is Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a quick question. You really think that that person is the one? You really think you cannot live without them? You That just is the one that just opens your heart. Your nose is wide open. You're just, oh, you're just enthralled. And you're just so taken aback by this person's charm and their demeanor and their most wonderful looks. Well, listen. Let's go down and let's build a foundation on this relationship, as you call it, right? Let's start from the bottom up. Number one, what do they stand on? What is their stand? Do they believe? Do they live for? Do they know? Do they live up to the expectations of God? Are they born again? That's number one. Or for those of you who are not, are they close to your belief system? Because if you don't have the same standards, if you don't have the same beliefs, if you don't have the same principal goals, you're going to have a lot of problems. You're going to be at odds over the basic things. Now, let's move on from there. That's between y'all two to decide. Now, let's move on from there. And you want to be equally yoked. So the first list that I gave you sounds like that's where you start from, which is good. But you don't end there. Being equally yoked does not only mean that you have you share the same beliefs. But being equally yoked, baby, also has to do with characteristics, values, attitudes, personalities, interests, a whole lot of things. Now... Some of you think it's okay to tell somebody, why don't you just shut up? Why don't you just get out my face? You're so stupid. That's normal to you because you grew up with it. But guess what, baby? That is not edifying. And you do not want to spend the rest of your life with drama mama, okay? Or catastrophe daddy. You don't want to deal with that. You want somebody that knows what true love really is, that loves you sacrificially, that loves you mixed with respect, that knows how to talk to you, knows how to treat you, knows how to value who you are. But when you get somebody, here are your danger signs. I'm trying to go through this quickly because I know some of y'all can't watch a video past five minutes. You want somebody, number one, respects you. They know how to love. They're considerate. They're thoughtful. They're trusting and trustworthy. They're dependable and reliable. They're faithful. They're honorable. They honor you in public and in private. If you say no, they honor that. If you need space, they honor it. They understand and respect it. They don't have issues with you having friends outside of you and them. They are not to be the center of your universe. And baby cakes, if they demand that they are, you run, baby. Run, baby, run. Because it is healthy for a man to have his friends and a woman to have her friends outside of each other. That is healthy. If they show signs of jealousy, suspicion, they don't like the way that guy talks to you or they don't like the way that sister talks to you, run, baby, run. Jealousy leads to violence, you know. Oftentimes, it does. It may not happen during the dating process, but once you tie that knot, that knot will become a bulldozer or a millstone around your neck. And it will choke the living life out of you. Now, I'm not trying to fuss. I'm just trying to warn. Keep your eyes open. He's got a short temper. She's got a short temper and a quick lip. Run, baby, run. Every time you turn around, they got needs. They need you to lend them this and lend them that. Can you help me with this bill and help me with that bill? Run, baby, run. 
You do not want to be hooked up with a user, an abuser, a taker, and a faker. You got to watch. You got to watch in detail how people behave. Listen to what they say. Are they vindictive? Hmm. Can you sleep with both eyes closed or do you need to sleep with one eye open? Run, baby, run. You know, a lot of people, I'm going to tell you, I've heard stories. Let me tell you about a person I knew personally. She hooked up with a man. They thought they were equally yoked. Why? They both went to the same church and they both believed in Jesus Christ. She loved the fact that he tipped his hat. He was a gentleman at the door. He was thoughtful. He was appreciative. Yes, he was all the gentleman, baby. But boy, oh boy, the closer they got, the more warning signs she got. But she tied the knot anyway, and the knot became a millstone around her neck, and it choked the life out of her. She lived every day walking on eggshells. Why? Because she would be on the phone talking with her brothers and sisters or maybe even her mother or her aunt or a friend of hers from school. And when she got off the phone, unholy quietness, and she's wondering what's wrong. And he accuses her vehemently of making fun of him on the other line. <laughs> After a while, you call her up and she's saying, ah, can you call me tomorrow? My husband's home. That's crazy. Your life is not to be put on hold for one person. Come on now. Danger sign. Red flag. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. Alarm. Pay attention to the alarms. Pay attention to the warning signs. Do they bang the table when they get mad? Do they throw things across the room when they get mad? Be careful. You could be the next thing flying. All right. I just feel like it's time to warn you people because some people are out there so desperate for love, and I mean desperate. Hard up, desperate, will bend over backwards and will bend over and crack a smile if need be and get their behinds kicked left and right in order to say they got somebody that they think loves them. No, baby, that ain't love. Anytime somebody cusses you out, puts you down, tells you to shut up in public, make fun of you with their friends, bosses you around in front of their homies, in front of their girlfriends, tells you you're not a man in front of her friends, Come on now, anytime you get anybody who belittles you, male or female, run, baby, run. That thing is going to do nothing but take you down and take you out if you live long enough. All right, I'm going to stop because I can tell you about a friend of mine, and I think I will. I knew a lady who was married to a man for almost 40 years. By the time he got through with her, she died over a 10-day period of internal injuries from punches, from kicks, from broken bones, from black eyes and, and bleeding and, and hemorrhaging under the lining of her eye internal bleeding years and years and years of having her life beaten out of her yeah you stay in those sick relationships all you want here but i hope and pray that god opens your eyes to all the warning signals before you tie the knot before you commit to any relationship Amen? All right. I'm done. God bless you. God keep you. God protect you from all dangers, seen and unseen, and protect some of you from your own silly, desperate selves. Amen.